All right, once again, I want to give all praise, on our honor, all glory, be unto the Most High, Bashem Ishai, Bashem Kodash. You know, double hands be unto your pastors, and there's a great millstone to all the Akiams worldwide. I want to say, Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMS Trinidad Camp. Just without a quick edification, three spirits and the power of the Most High, Hawashim Rishai. So my edification is entitled, Slanderer, Slanderer. And just a, a mindset on, we as men of the Lord, Hawashim Rishai, we shouldn't be a slanderer. And when you go into the word slander in the Blue Letter Bible, it goes back to wrongfully accused or being wrongfully accused, or being a wrongful accuser. And we shouldn't be passing that. Because, you know, from time to time we may hear stories or instances where a man might have fell short, and we then do due diligence to find out exactly what was the issue. And by not doing that, we didn't hear the whole matter first and we made a judgment and then we end up looking as if we wrongfully accuse someone or become a slanderer. And then outright they could just be men that's wicked. They just choose to falsely accuse men of things that they know is not true. So let's get into it. Um, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 16. Thou shalt not be a false witness against thy neighbor yeah thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife nor his manservant nor his maidservant nor his ox nor his ass nor anything that is thy neighbor's so being false witnesses means that you're going to stand up and say that you saw this man do abc when in fact he never did so so that you can see your brother fall and that's being wicked that's actually a wicked act because depending on, on what it is, you could actually get that man put to death because of your false weakness. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, Neither shall thou speak in a cause that they climb after many to rush judgment. So, an unrighteous witness, and it kind of goes back to um, when Daniel had now come on the scene, and there were two wicked ass, I think were elders, that they were interested in a, in a, in a nice damsel, and they tried to bring up a false witness because she rejected their their advances, their sexual advances. And she spirits on the glory of the most herbal Shemisha, he had put that spirit on Daniel to ultimately bring them out as being wicked and they were stoned to death. You know? So bringing a false report, it could actually make someone be put to death. And if it's the Musa of Hashem which I will, that stone at the tree in the air will fall back on your head. You know? But we don't want to be a, a false accuser. We don't want to raise a false report against any of our brothers or at anyone whatsoever. Mm. Psalm chapter 101 and verse 5. It says, Whoso privily slander his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that had an high look and a proud heart will I not, will not I suffer. So, privily slander your neighbor. You know that you're doing a wrong act. You know it's an unrighteous act. But nevertheless, you continue until you prevail and seeing your neighbor fall or your brother fall because of that slander. And we know that slander going back to a wrongful or being a wrongful accuser. Accuser of your brother. 
he just fallen in the vibration of Esau because he is the accuser of his brother. You know? Um, Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 18 it says He that hideth hatred with his lips and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. And that hatred with your lips is what sometimes go back to bringing envy and, and, and different feelings towards your brother. When most of the time you can just pull your brother to one side and explain your feelings to him and explain where he may have affected you in whatever way it may be and allow your brother to have the ability to apologize. And if he didn't apologize, at least you know that you let your brother know, you know, where he ought or he fell wrong. Rather than just hiding that hatred, speaking love to your brother, but deep down inside you hate him, you know. So Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 28. It says, A forward man so it strive and a whisperer separated chief friends yeah so we don't want to bring strive around our brothers or strive around the camps but we want to bring love understanding and knowing that each of us are unique in our own way as well we don't want to be a whisperer always sending or talking tales among men saying this one with this man and this one with the other man you know that's that's for women that's emotional shit. That shouldn't be nowhere near the camps. You know? Proverbs chapter 20 and verse um, 19. He that goeth about as a tale bearer revealed secrets. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. So a tale bearer it goes back to being a liar. And then a, a man who you will have confined it with your secrets and you go out there and speak your secrets how can you trust that man ever again how can you expect that man to trust you ever again you know and these are things that should not be near the men of the lord you have matthew chapter 12 and verse 35 it says a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things and an evil man out of the treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in a day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So those slanders and those lies that you're seeing with your mouth, you're going to be condemned and judged. Thus to the Lord Abash Meshai. You will not be held guiltless, but you will be held accountable for your actions that you did with your mouth. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1, it says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice, and all guile, and all hypocrisy, and envies, and all even speaking, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that he may grow thereby and we want to grow in this truth and if you're just focusing on being a slander you're just going to stay down in this truth until you fade away or you get kicked out you know you get revealed so first peter chapter 3 and verse 16 having a good conscience that wherefore they speak evil of you as an evil doer they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation, Masha. And in the, the, the reason for the scripture, just overall, sometimes men will slander your name, but you know that your foundation is on a rock, which is the Musa of Hashemishai. And he is the ultimate judge at the end of the day, you know. Um, James chapter 4 and verse 11. It says, Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judgeth the law. But if thou 
judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. So you have to be careful how you judge. Okay, you can be judged as well. But you know, ultimately, it's about love. We want love for our brothers, love for the brotherhood. Ultimate love to the Musa of Ashimisha, you know. That will answer you into the apostles and hairs of great millstone. So it's just a lesson on a slanderer, you know. Hopefully it might be edifying to you, you know. So with that, I want to give all praise and honor and glory beyond to the Musa of Ashimisha. And we see how the times are going. Until then, Akiyam Shalawam. Stay strong, Akiyam Shalawam.